Hello, buddy. Shogun, it's 1000 point of duty. Welcoming you back to more Blue Fire Blind. Last time, we started off exploring Firefall River, discovered a void that is five-star difficulty and is the most spineless one of them all. Sorely because I still have yet to complete it because I've decided to give up on it. Yeah. I mean, this isn't to be a 100% playthrough, because if it were, then I would know what I'm doing, but unfortunately, I do not. I have actually uh, got some snapshots or somewhat. I mean, obviously, you know about this bit. Um, coming up to this portion. Just um, skipping along. Um, oh, I... I Oh, no, sorry, never mind. Because I man, I don't know why I actually got a snapshot of that of all things. Why did I got that? Because you saw me complete that the first time. But, yeah, this. Um, this is actually after that bit that you saw me fail at last time. Uh, what this thing is about. You have swinging saw blades in a row of four. The first two are a slow movement base and you have to stay on the back of the platform that you're currently stood on right here to avoid them but then the next two swing at a much faster pace meaning you have to stand at the front of the platform roughly to avoid them and once I got past them I then had to do the exact same thing with these saw blades but with the additional jump gems the first two ones uh, say the first one swings slowly but then the next lot are in a double of two and it's just basically time it right to land on those gems get the additional jump and then avoid the saw blades and then there's two more behind those ones and this is how i did it i stood roughly in the middle for the first two I jumped for that one because I panicked. And then I judged about how to do this. That's how I did it. And it was actually my first try doing it. I actually not failed at that bit at one point. But, oh. But then, very next bit, I got to this segment over here. This is as f furthest as I got. I have not gone beyond this point. Because I keep either hitting the first swinging saw blade, hitting the spikes on not the first wall, but the second wall, or I miss the wall entirely and I fall to my obliteration. But this was my first crack at me trying it. And as you can see, there looks like something that you can actually like scale up the tower over there. But you notice I jumped too high and hit the spikes. And, oh, oh god. I just saw where it is now. They've got saw blades going back and forth, and you have to wall jump to avoid them. Oh, that is... That is absolutely devilish, to say the least. I am not bothering with that. So, anyway. This episode, we are going to not fall in the lava. I'm just going to... Declare not bothering with that. Really? Really? That... I keep misjudging it. I keep misjudging it. There we go. Yeah, we're going to continue on down here. 
as best as I can honestly tell. Right, I'm going to go along here. Okay, so these guys do three hearts of damage. Oh, now I can see the hearts. Uh, the hearts, um, the eyes. Sorry. Um, is there a way over there? Looks like there's a way over there. Okay. Oh, wow, all well, that for an emote state? Okay, what's this one then? Okay, right. Uh, let's see. Do I even have this? Yes, I do. Or, no, I don't. No, because it needs, it needs the legs sticking out. Just trying to find it. No, okay, I don't have it. Okay, oh, another NPC to talk to. Marathon champion, all right, Speedo. Hello, friend, I'm Speedo. Nice day to work out, isn't it? Today, I already... Today you already ran 12 miles. How with this very um, obnoxious layout? You swam all over the lava. You can swim in the lava, but I can't. Wow, you are such an... <laughs> I can see you're a slow fellow. Yeah, I have a secret. Oh, yeah. A secret ring that can make you... Eight thousand. Oh, you're not going to be like one of those. I'm going to lower the price for you, but... Why do we actually need something to increase our speed when we have a spirit that can do that anyway? Honestly. Though I am actually curious. I really... Uh, oh, so that's where I need to go. Oh, there's a fire shrine over there. Okay, good. I was wondering where there was a fire shrine statue. Yep, I'd like to save. And more importantly, I'd like to equip the Golden Lust and the Aerial Rat. Right, I'm guessing this is another shop or whatever. Oh, hello! What are you? Oh, Nari, Bunny Man! I just saw, saw, you just saw us through the window. Wait, your windows look more like picture frames. I think you're stating that you actually saw us through the door and mistakenly think that it's a window. Is it I? You may think I'm an ordinary owner, but you're wrong. Uh, you are not a bunny! You're just dressed as one! <laughs> I used to belong to the Sire... Uh, seriously?
What was it? Oh, for goodness sake. Do you know what? Fine. Fine. Doesn't mean I'm going to wear it. <laughs> what is it with these NPCs? I swear to God. I mean, honestly. You think that these will actually give you a unique ability or something. But they don't. They really don't. I mean, this one's just the usual look. This one probably might look like you could float temporarily, but no. This one, you probably might give the impression that you actually can buy stuff for half price, but no. This one... I don't know. Maybe increase your firepower or something? This one's probably to increase power of your swords. This one, maybe double the double what you get in a treasure chest. Or this one to increase jump, but no. It just says a colorful bunny costume. A set of stealthy robes made and worn by the woven thieves known as the biggest clan of burglars in Penumbra. The, they do not do anything. I feel like it's just a waste of time. And plus, it's probably going to be even more annoying if they are tied to being 100% completion based. I would honestly be annoyed if it actually is to be the case. If it is entitled for you to 100% complete the game by grabbing all swords, all tunics, and beat all voids, then I am not impressed. I mean, the voids, fair enough, yeah, because that actually does make total sense. But, getting all the tunics, no. Oh, wait, hang on. Lure you over here. Okay, I kind of found a way. I took damage by jumping into him, but I didn't take damage from his explosion. That. Stop jumping into him! Seriously, I don't even know the name of this character. So I can't actually just be like Link or whatever. Okay, you... I'm probably going to bet you're the emotes of the slate I just saw. No. You are Kung Fu. Rust... So that way is to Rust Village, so that's not the way we need to go then. I'll probably head down that way anyway. Because of the last vessel of souls business I could be wrong but there's no harm in in finding a dead end oh wait actually yeah is it a, okay never mind well at least we now know that at least well at least I now know that I mean you probably know it as well if you're watching this but if you've pretty much already beaten this game, because this game was released on the 12th of February, it's nearly been one month since that day. And I literally have no idea how far away I am to completing it. I mean, fair enough, if I go into here, it actually does tell me my completion time. I mean... I've currently completed nearly 50% of the game. I honestly have no idea what that enemy even is. Or how he's supposed to... Oh, okay. Can you only kill him by shooting fireballs? Ow. 
answer is no. Because it looked like he was blocking the attack. So I'm guessing they are just basically there to make matters difficult for you. I mean, heck, I can understand the logic in why. Do you know, I just realized something I could do. Thanks for the boost, pal. Enough! I didn't... Oh, okay, it's fine. I didn't have my, um... Spin attack up. I thought I did. Sorry, but I'm not... Interested... In fighting you. But, hey! Oi! Get back in your... Whatever I want to call it. I'm not going to be like, get back in your hole, because that's a Jugger Convoy thing. I do like watching his videos, but I do believe his, um... Choice in words could be a huge improvement in some way. I mean, there are so many things that I could actually recommend him saying that. <laughs> um, I think would be better. Oh, wow, this goes really deep. Okay. Uh, random stab in the dark. No. That does look like somewhere that you could actually light a fire. Seems not. Okay. Oh, what a nice. I don't think I'll be able to do that again anytime soon. Right, okay, so this doorway looks like I can open it as long as I've beaten the temple, I'm wanting to guess. I could be wrong on that. Don't know if that actually is the temple or not. It certainly does look like it. There is a gust of wind down over there. Right, I'm just going to ignore you. Oh, there's another void over here. Please don't tell me this is another five star. Okay, it's a three. I'm happy with a three. I am not happy with a five. I know the um, the five star difficulty one that I completed. I did beat in literally five minutes after stopping the recording. But that last one that I did, that is just not my cup of tea, honestly. Speaking of cup of tea, I probably should get myself one in the near future. Wait, is that a rotating... Oh, wow. They actually got rotating platforms. Yeah. So that's Mario-esque. I mean, the boys don't rotate with it. At least it doesn't have... Um, slope physics. Where it's like, you land on a platform that's got a slant in it, and you just slide. For no apparent reason. I do hate it when it does that. Because it's like some scenarios you'd be thinking, okay, you can clearly run up a slope, but you do tire yourself out pretty quickly. But in Super Mario, you go up a slope, you just immediately trip and slip down. Oh god, oh jeez. Okay, okay. Uh, I have to know. I have to know if there is something up there, because it kind of would give the impression that there would. My intuition is having a strong belief 
Yep, I was right. Foidor. Sometimes my adventurous spirit knows no bounds solely because of the fact that, well, um, ever since playing Breath of the Wild for the very first time ever, the very first thing I wanted to do was explore the entirety of Hyrule and see everything the way it looked. Okay, I got that for you, so I don't have to travel back for it. Okay, I'm going to play it safe. Oh, it actually counts as grabbing it. Okay. Oh, jeez. Oh, God. Oh, damn it. Just when I thought it didn't have slip physics, they do. Dang it. Okay. Julie noted... I was not expecting that, but I fortunately recovered. Somehow. Right, I gotta go back for that void. I gotta go back for it. Okay, there we go. And now back over here. There we go. I really am giving a five in thinking that I am getting better with the game. But if I was getting better with the game, then I would be able to beat that five star difficulty void that I gave up in doing. Okay, another void or And there we go. Okay. There we go. We finally managed to beat a void that didn't have me to take two tries or whatever to do. But I think I'm going to end things off this episode. Next time on Blue Fire Blind, we're going to proceed further onwards in Firefall River and see uh, what lies at the very bottom. See you guys then.